Let's take a look at another set of examples from section 2.5. So I'm looking at exercise number 38 on page 211 and we're supposed to be looking for the horizontal asymptotes of the following functions. And The first one they have for 38 is uh, 2x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. Now horizontal asymptotes are the tricky ones because they deal with the degree of the numerator as compared to the degree of the denominator. So the degree of the numerator I look for the highest power of x in sight. Well this is the only thing that has an x on it and it doesn't look like it has a power. But if it doesn't have a power you can always put 1 as the power because anything to the first is just itself. You haven't changed anything. So the degree of the numerator is just 1 because that's the highest power of x that I see. And then the denominator is a little easier. I don't see any x's on the last term, on the minus 4, but on x squared, the highest exponent I see here is 2. So since the degree of the denominator is larger, I kind of term this bottom heavy, since the degree of the denominator is larger, the, the bottom is heavier in terms of degree, the horizontal asymptote, as a rule, is just y equals 0. And that's it. That's the rule. If you want to know why, take calculus. They'll explain why. Let's take a look at 40. In 40, we're going to come across another rule. So the numerator isn't going to be, the degree of the numerator isn't going to be smaller than the degree of the denominator here. So the numerator in this case for g of x is 3x plus 4, and the denominator is minus 4x plus 5. So Again, we kind of run across this problem of, well, I don't see any exponents on x. But you can resolve that just by putting in your own exponents, namely putting in the exponent 1. That x to no power is the same thing as x to the first, because x to the first is exactly x. So the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are 1. And when, they're, when they are equal, we need to know the leading coefficient of the numerator and the leading coefficient of the denominator. So in this case, we look at the x to the first terms, the things that gave us our, uh, our degree, and we look at their coefficients. So the leading coefficient of the numerator is 3, because that's what's multiplying x to the first. And the leading coefficient of the denominator is minus 4. So then the horizontal asymptote is just the ratio of these two numbers. I take the 3 and divide it by the minus 4 and get minus three quarters. And that, that's the horizontal asymptote for this function. Okay, let's take a look at one more. Let's look at number 42. where we've got h of x being defined as x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. 
Now I look at this and I see some simplification that can be done right away, but things are going to work out just fine if you don't see that. So to do, to figure out whether we need a horizontal or an oblique asymptote, we have to look at the degrees, the degrees of the numerator, the top, and the degree of the bottom, the denominator. So hopefully the denominator is fairly easy because the highest exponent I see on x here is 2. And as we've seen in the past examples, the degree of the numerator is just going to be 1 because even though there's no exponent on this x, x to the first is the same thing as x. So it doesn't matter whether I have nothing or whether I have 1 here, it's all the same. So again, we come across the case where the denominator has the larger degree. And when the denominator has the larger degree, the rule is that the horizontal asymptote is just y equals 0. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, the, if you're curious, the simplification I'm seeing here is because x squared minus 9 is a difference of 2 squares. It's the difference of 3 squared, or excuse me, x squared and 3 squared. And this difference of squares has a special factorization as x minus 3 times x plus 3. So it'll end up that a cancellation can occur so long as x is not minus 3 and we get the function 1 over x minus 3. Now I said that this has no effect on our answer and in this case rarely enough I am correct. You can go through. Here the degree of the numerator is going to be degree 0 simply because any, anything, uh, anything to the zero power is one. So I can think of this one on top as being x to the zero. And then the degree in this new denominator is still going to be larger than the new numerator the degree of the denominator is going to be 1. So we still end up with the same horizontal asymptote.